I have a good one for you guys today and I am not kidding. You definitely have to watch all the way through on this one because it is a giveaway sponsored by Lakeshore Learning. And I'm gonna show you how to use some of these things for water play and learning all at the same time. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and welcome to my channel. Lakeshore Learning has sponsored me today in a huge, huge, huge giveaway. I know one lucky winner is gonna just absolutely love it, but more on those details later on in the video. Today we're gonna to be talking about water activities because we're still in that kind of summer fun mode. I do have a couple other videos that have to do with outdoor play and water activities too if you wanna check those out to get some inspirations. And if you are new here, I would love it if you were to click subscribe because that's what we do. Lots of inspirations to learn through play. And what I'm really loving right now is when you all leave me a comment and say hi. So if you're new, let me know down below in the comments. All right, so I don't wanna waste any more time in waiting and show you what I have in store for you today. All of these things I wanna show you today are from Lakeshore Learning, and if you're interested, you can go to their website and see what they have. Amazing learning and educational toys. Love, love, love it. Our first thing that we're gonna talk about today is this, it's the Float and Find Alphabet Bubbles, which has kind of been on one of my favorites list for a while now, so I can't wait to show you what it's all about. Float and Find Alphabet Bubbles, ages two and up on this one, you guys. So all of you who have the younger kids who are always asking me what to get for my little ones, this one. <laughs> this one I've had my eye on for a while. I just think it's an amazing product. It just has a lot of benefits to it. Let me show you. There are 26 bubbles in here and they are so cool. Here is the alphabet bubbles activity guide and it gives you some ideas of course and then on the back it has all the pictures so you know exactly what they are in case you can't tell but I'm going to tell you you can tell and in the package here are the bubbles. So one side has the letter the other side has the picture for the sound. So Z is for z, z zebra. What's also amazing is when you put these in the water, they float. And so you can do all kinds of different activities. Okay, so think about this. Think of fishing for a certain letter, trying to find it. Think of using a little scooper to scoop it out. Think of flipping them over one side and if you get the answer correct, what does zebra start with? Z -z -z, you get to take that one for you. The games on this are gonna be fun, trust me. Use these in the bathtub, use them in your water bins and it's gonna add that extra sensory experience to your learning. So let's see, we, let me show you a couple more here. We have the W which is for wagon. We have a V for volcano. Here's a queen for Q is L, we have a monkey over here, so you kind of get the idea. Also note that on these, you have both the uppercase and lowercase let letter, which is pretty cool, so you can recognize both the uppercase and, let and lowercase. So you can also work on your phonics and your sounds. I just think these have so much opportunity in learning and extension learning combined with the sensory with the water. I think it's actually a perfect way to learn about your beginning sounds or your letters as you're learning the alphabet. Aren't they pretty too? They're just kind of fun to look at. Next up are the design and build water blocks. Let's check out the design and build water blocks. These are for ages three and over. I really think you guys are gonna like this. So we get our little instruction guide. You guys, the Lakeshore Learning instruction guides are pretty cool because they have some examples of things that you can do in extension activities other than just play with them. So they give you a lot of ideas. Looks like we have a really cool mesh bag to store all of our pieces in. This is gonna come in handy if you need a place to store. Plus you'll be able to hang it so they can just drip dry. Love that idea and then inside we get 29 foam blocks and then one foam platform so let's take a look at all of these blocks that you get in here to do some building with I like that there's all different kinds of sizes and shapes because that means you can create some pretty cool things the colors are a lot of fun too here are all of our shapes and here is our platform. So what's cool, this will float on water, so you're able to put this on and have something to build on. And I think this would float too, and I like that it's got kind of the curved edge to it, so you can build directly on top of it to create your creations. So when these are wet, these blocks are made so that they cling together and stick together, so they're not gonna fall down easily. And then this one, of course, is made to float. So when you're building on top of here, you can create things and see how they kind of cling to one another and stick 
unlike you would here without being in water when you're creating and building. So what you're gonna see is a lot of exploration and balance, making sure that their creation doesn't topple over while it's floating in water on this foam mat here. And then they're gonna have to do a lot of cause and effect and, and trying and making sure that they're keeping everything balanced. Use these on a water table. If you guys don't have a water table, a really easy solution for that would be to get a huge container and use that outside, make sure it's just kind of shallow. And then you can also use these in the bathtub. I mean, how simple would that be to put them in the bathtub to play with? These also will float in water, just the pieces too, which is kind of nice. So they're not gonna sink to the bottom. And then you can do some experiments on balance and seeing if you can actually sink your platforms. If you want to extend this, you guys, a really great idea would be to draw and draft out, do some stem building activities about what their creations are gonna be looking like. So if I were gonna do that, I would have them have a piece of paper and present them all the blocks to them and to kind of let them draft out and color the pieces that they wanna do. And then they can take it over to the water table and try to create it and build it. If it sinks or if it falls over, then maybe they need to go back and reassess as they would in any stem exercise and reevaluate how they're going to plan it out. Okay, you're gonna like this one, waterways pipe builders. The waterway pipe builders, 52 pieces on this, and it's for ages three and up. If you like those marble mazes, have you tried it with water? Because um, it is fun too. Here is everything bright and colorful. We get a little sheet here that tells us about what to do, but look. Look, look at all these pieces, tons to create. So we've got a couple of funnel, woo, throwing things around. Got a couple of funnel shapes here in all colors. Connector pieces that are kind of in the T shape, little bends, and you get several different pieces to it. Here are some that will help stand your creations down. We have a couple of little, what is that, 45 degree angles. We have some straight pieces. These tubes come in two different sizes, so you can have a little flexibility in your creations there. I might even run out of room here. There are so many pieces. These are great for little hands because they can easily put them together themselves. It's very simple, great for their strength building and working out things. And when they create these, they can do a lot of cause and effect. So if you set this up properly, you're gonna be using a base like this so it can stand up and create something like this. And then you need to figure out how you're gonna get the water down to the end of the tube. How, are these, how do these pieces work together to create water flow. So if you look and see that this one has no exit, then if you pour water down here, the water's not gonna go anywhere. But you want the water to go somewhere, so how are you going to engineer this to build that? This one goes all the way through, and this one goes all the way through. So if I build something like this, where I have a funnel up here to put water in, how am I gonna get it to go in somewhere over here? Maybe I create something like this so that it can flow right into that funnel. Actually, I'm having way too much fun with this. I'm gonna have to take this outside to play with it. But you get the idea. So there's a lot of experimentation in this and this is amazing because the kids love playing with the water. You guys know this and it's summertime and it's great to be outdoors and, and experiment with water. So you can use it in the bathtub and create all kinds of different creations to get that water flowing exactly where you're wanting it. You're making water mazes with all of these pieces. So what do you think about those? Pretty cool, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you about the giveaway details and this is a good one because one winner is gonna win all three of these Lakestar Learning products. You're gonna get the Float and Find Alphabet Bubbles and the Design and Build Water Block and the Waterways Pipe Builders. Leave me a comment down below telling me which one you plan to use on first if you were gonna win and why. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address and enter by the date shown here on your screen. And if you're wanting a couple of extra bonus points, I have some opportunities for that and some secret clues hidden around social media, plus the typical Facebook posts that I have as well. So you can go to that to score some extra bonus entries. I'm excited to see who's gonna win, so make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.